Today we're going to take a look at the InverArt 200 TLP from HTP. Uh, this is a 15 pound uh, stick TIG constant current power source. It can run off of 208 all the way to 240 volts. Um, like I said, at 15 pounds, packs a big punch, a capacity of 200 amps. Um, it's a single phase only power source. This will run off of 50 or 60 hertz, so you can use it here in the USA, or you can even uh, use this overseas because of the 50 hertz capacity. The duty cycle on this is quite impressive. It's about 125 amps, 100% duty cycle on stick, and 140 amps on TIG at 100% duty cycle. So, small machine, but packs a huge punch. A uh, couple things about it, it actually has a couple different settings. Uh, so we have two different settings for stick. We have a, a soft arc, and then we also have a crisp arc or cellulosic setting for your 6010s or 6011s, which are your F3 rods. Uh, we have our TIG setting, and then we got a couple other things over here on the side. We can do hot start, uh, we can do pulse on stick or TIG. There is a T2 setting, um, so I, you know we can uh, taper off our arc at the end uh, to fill our crater. And there's also an arc force setting as well that you can adjust on this. So uh, it's got a lot of features for, again, a small, uh, very capable machine. So, so we're going to go ahead and set up the Inver Arc 200 TLP from HTP. I am going to plug this in. Again, we need 208 to 240 volts for this. We're good there. Um, it comes with this sweet case here, which will have your ground lead and then also a stick whip. So I'm gonna do some stick welding and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my ground clamp to DC negative because I wanna stick on DC positive, which is the majority of your stick welding. We've got a couple DINs connectors here. Uh, we do have a connector here for TIG setting. Can go ahead and turn this on in the back. Once it fires up, uh, you have a couple different uh, settings over here. You can see over here on the left side, we have uh, two stick stingers, pictures of them. Uh, the top one would be more of a soft arc for your 6013s, 7018s, uh, even your F1 rods like 24s and, and whatnot. Uh, over here, the second one is a CEL, so your cellulosic rods which would be your 6010s or 6011s, which are that F3 uh, group of uh, rods. And then down here we have our TIG torch, okay? Um, over here on the right side, uh, we would have a hot start feature. We have our T2, so we can down slope with TIG. And then we have, down here at the bottom, we have pulse frequency. Uh, so you can have uh, up to about five pulses uh, for stick and uh, several hundred for TIG over there, okay? Uh, one other feature you can, so if I'm on stick cellulosic, I can go over here and then there's my hot start and I can adjust up to uh, from 3 to 40 on the hot start feature for that. We're going to go ahead and run some uh, F3 6010 rods uh, from HTP. This is the 8 inch 6010. Uh, I'm set up over here. I'm on the cellulosic setting. Uh, I got a little bit of hot start going, uh, a little extra arc force uh, just, just to run it. Um, I'm about 78 amps, uh, which seems kind of low for most, but actually this thing's pretty uh, pretty impressive how much amperage it'll pump out, um, even at 78. So I'm gonna uh, gear up, and we're gonna run probably a couple stringers and whip pause uh, passes with this 6010. Right, 
going to go ahead and run this one as a uh, with a little manipulation, a whip pause. So I'm going to go about two rod diameters forward, one rod diameter back, um, and go ahead and do that stepping technique. Running this uh, 6010 here on the HTP, um, ran some stringer, so just no manipulation, just dragging it straight across, it works great. Uh, even a whip pause, ran a couple different arc force uh, settings and you can see that it has no problem stacking some dimes in there. Uh, so this rod, uh, even in the 70s, packs a huge punch. Uh, you know, usually I'm used to running, you know, my 6010s up in the 80s or even 90s, and I don't even have to get anywhere near that kind of amperage to uh, really get some penetration and whatnot. So for any type of open root, uh, rusty base metal, painted base metal, doesn't really matter. This thing's going to go ahead and burn right through it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, switch gears. We're going to go from running a F3 cellulosic rod over to a F4 Rod. So we have a, some 7018s here from HTP. We're going to run the 332nd uh, rod and I'm going to go ahead and change this out of cellulosic um, into more of a soft part. Okay, so currently we are in cellulosic. We're going to skip through TIG and then up here is a softer arc for your, you know, 7018s, 6013s, um, even your F1 rods, uh, like 24s or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and run this, probably be somewhere in the high 80s. Our arc force is at 10, which is more than enough. We don't want to really get too high on a soft arc. Uh, I'm not looking to use any pulse right now. And we're going to keep our arc force on the low end as well. Today we ran some stick uh, welding with the HTP Inverart 200 TLP. Ran both the HTP 7018 332nd rod and the HTP 6010 8th inch rod. Uh, really just an impressive machine. It's got a couple different settings on here. So we have a smoother, softer arc setting for your 7018s. Uh, cellulosic setting for 6010s and 11s and uh, I was able to mess around a little bit with the arc force, the hot start and uh, you know here's the, uh, the proof is in the pudding now. Literally uh, quite an impressive machine and uh, great filler rods to use as well. In review of the HTP Inverarc 200 TLP, the mighty lunch box. This machine is 15 pounds and it packs a huge punch. Uh, this thing actually is going to run at 100% duty cycle at 125 amps. So you could take this machine out on the construction site, plug it in, and run just about any stick rod you can imagine. I mean, 125 amps, we're, we're running uh, eighth inch 7018 with still room to, to give. And that's at 100% duty cycle, which you do not need when you're stick welding because you are running a rod, taking it out, shipping slag, cleaning it up, you know, you're not running continuous 100% of the time, you know, for 125 amps. So ultimately take this machine, 
in your garage. It's small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, take it out in the construction world, uh, just in a, a fab shop, whatever, you can stick and TIG weld with it. Uh, just absolutely super impressed with this machine. This is a must have machine uh, when you're talking about your constant current processes for stick and TIG. Uh, take it out there, uh, you can do some scratch start on pipe, uh, you're doing socket welds, whatever it might be, just overall uh, solid. 6010, whip pause, there's no stopping it. Um, you can run it as a stringer or, like I said, a whip pause, and it's not like the Arc is going to go out with some of the less expensive uh, knockoff brands that are out there. Uh, you can run stick on pulse, so I even did a little bit of that, which is pretty neat. Uh, so it does have some pretty good capabilities when we're talking about constant current processes.